Okay, we're going to talk about a slightly older program, gaming program in Windows, San Andreas, uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and how to configure it. I'm going to do it through Steam, but you can do this with your regular installation as well. We'll get to that here in a minute. But in Steam, if you go to your list of games and everything, you go down to where your game is at, and you hit Properties, you'll be able to see the properties. And then you'll be able to look here. And there's different settings. There's set launch options, and there may be parameters a particular game needs to run correctly, whether or not you're in Windows 7 or Windows 8. Sometimes it's a memory configuration. Uh, sometimes it's other things. But if you go over here to local files, and it says here, browse local files. So what you want to do is click on the local files. And what's going to pop up is the window on your computer of where your file is located. So once you go there, uh, you can see that, uh, by the way, I'm in the Steam Steam apps, okay, and this is where all, if you click here under common, that's where all your game files are at under the right directory. So we're going to go back to San Andreas, and there's the program that executed. There's a test program there as well, but I'm going to right click on that. Now if you don't have Steam, you just go here directly through wherever your program installed in, uh, on, on your hard drive directly, and you're not going to use a troubleshoot compatibility in this menu, but you're going to go to the, to the properties and then select compatibility and we're going to click on run this file in and you just select which one you want if it's a very old file try different ones now I know that San Andreas uh, is a seven or eight year old program it's 2005 I think it was released but we're going to run it in Windows 7 mode and uh, there's other, th other, um, other things you can click on as well as far as reduce color and all that and you might find that useful for other programs for right now though we're just going to do the hardware uh, compatibility mode or the compatibility mode is going to be Windows 7 and that's it. So that permanently changes that actual EXE in your hard drive to do, to do that, to run that way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, actually click on the game and I'm going to have it run and then we're going to see what happens. So let's click play and as you can hear San Andreas comes up, the Rockstar logo comes in. I'm going to hit the space bar here a couple of times to to get out of the intro screen and everything. Uh, but there's the San Andreas uh, intro. And let's skip all that here. I'm going to go to options. Okay, you can say start game, new game. But you'll see the loading screen here. And what we'll see here is uh, the intro. I'm skipping past that. And here I am at the very beginning of the game. No configurations. You'll see it's running fine. Run over here to this bike. Uh, and I can hit enter, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to options. And by the way, you can still do the same thing. Here's the display setup. I'm going to go over here and go to advanced. And I've already set it up for 1620 by 1050. And San Andreas is a little funny. You have to hit enter each time you're on one. So I sit there and say on. And then anti-aliasing, I can turn on or set it level. I can go to resolution down here and change the different resolution levels. You have to hit enter, remember, to save your setting before you hit back. So you, if, you, if you get off of it, it, does, it goes to something else. So I put it on the highest resolution, and now I'm going to hit, hit back. So there I am. So I'm going to go down to the bottom, and I'm going to hit back again. So then all I do is, I, now you can go into controller and use mouse and keys. I have a little problem with this with the mouse. Once in a while, it doesn't recognize the sideways motion of the mouse. But uh, for the most part, it works fine. Uh, it also, I have a Microsoft uh, Xbox joystick that I have the PC version, and it runs fine. So here I am. I'm going to get on my bike. I hit Enter to get on my bike uh, because I didn't even configure the right keystrokes. But we're going to go ahead and hit Enter. And I'm going to go back down here to Options and try a different... I'm going to try my joystick like I was talking about. Oops. Let me go back there. Dang it. So we're going to go back here and... Let's go back to mouse and resume. So here I am, and all I have to do is hit the W key like it says, start steering left and right. And I'm supposed to go to the CG icon, but I'm just going to drive around for a while to uh, see what happens. I run into cars. You can see in the background all the buildings are there off in the distance. Sounds working fine. Everything's great. I'm going to go up the street here a little bit. Do a couple maneuvers and go up the street here. Oh crap, I don't think I'm able to pedal up this street. Uh, uh, okay, well maybe not. But anyways, the point of it is, is that, as you can see, it runs perfectly fine. Uh, I have no glitches whatsoever in, uh, in the game. Uh, you see all the effects, everything runs very, very smoothly. So San Andreas will work perfectly fine under, this is, an, again, 
This is 2013. This is an eight-year-old game, and it runs great under Windows 8. So don't believe all the rumors you hear about things not running under Windows 8. Uh, for the most part, they will. As long as you have a fairly new dr uh, driver, a card, a video card, and they've released drivers for Windows 8. Sometimes you can load up sp your old drivers as well to, to work. But, for, but really, it's usually a matter of just compatibility because this may be running an older version of DirectX, for example. So uh, as long as it's supported backwards, which Windows 8 does, back to DirectX 9, you're in pretty good shape. And let me just play around here. There you are, San Andreas Fault, Windows 8, uh, compatibility mode, and Steam configuration. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, featured video. And thanks for watching.